question comes from a long-term shareholder who's been here for more than 25 years. His name's Ben Knoll. He's from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And he says, Mr. Munger and Mr. Buffett, after a 15-year period of market underperformance, you're cautious about predicting Berkshire being able to outperform the market in the future. Given this, what do you see as the arguments for longtime shareholders to continue holding their stock versus diversifying their risk across an index? Charlie, you want to answer that? Well, sure. Well, I personally prefer holding Berkshire to holding the market. So because I'm quite comfortable holding Berkshire. I, I think our businesses are better than the average in the market. Is it because you don't think the market values it fairly? Well, these are just accidents of history, and things are fluctuating at all times. But in, on a composite basis, I'd, I'd bet on Berkshire over the market. That's assuming we're all dead. Hey, I recommend I, I recommend the S and P 500 index fund and uh, have for uh, a long, long time to people. And uh, I've never recommended Berkshire to anybody uh, because I I don't want people to buy it because they think I'm <laughs> tipping them into some sign. Never. I mean, no matter what it was selling for. And uh, uh, and you know, I I've I made it public. I, you know, I'm. On my death, there's a there's a fund for my uh, then, then widow, and ninety uh, percent will go into an S and P five hundred index fund, and ten percent of treasury bills. And uh, on the other hand, I'm very happy having my future contributions to a group of charities that'll be spread over twelve years or so after my death uh, to stay in Berkshire. I think the odds are uh, Berkshire. Berkshire Berkshire is, um, yeah, I, I like it, but I'm not, uh, I, do, I do not think uh, the average person can pick stocks. We happen to have a large group of people that didn't pick stocks, but they picked Charlie and me to manage money for them 50 or 60 years ago. And, and uh, uh, so we have a very unusual group of shareholders, I think, who, who look at Berkshire as a lifetime savings vehicle. And uh, one they don't have to think about, and uh, uh, one that they'll look, you know, if they don't look at it again for 10 or 20 years, that, that uh, will have taken care of the money reasonably well. But that, I wouldn't argue that the S&P 500 over time, I would, I, I, perfect, I, I like Berkshire, but I, uh, uh, I, I think that the a person who doesn't know anything about stocks uh, at all, and doesn't have any special feelings about Berkshire, I think they ought to, they ought to buy the S&P 500 index.